Okay, so hopefully you can see me fine. Uh, anyways, today's review is a little different. It's on this game here, and I didn't beat it. I actually already recorded everything and did it, and the only reason I did that first is because I knew I was going to beat this game. This game is freaking hard, and I'm just going to do a small commentary on the gameplay I did because basically I knew I was going to be able to beat this game, and well, you'll find out why right now, so... Uh, yeah. That, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. And next week, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll probably be doing uh, older stuff, Nintendo uh, game reviews instead of Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. And, yeah. So, if you still like these videos, if you like these videos at all, you know, subscribe and stuff. There's other stuff on this channel. And, yeah, that's it. Okay, so here's the uh, gameplay. It's horrible. Okay, so like I said, this one's going to be recorded differently with me just commenting on everything that happens in this game because this game is just pretty darn horrible. Uh, it's not a bad game, you know, let me clarify that right now. It Graphically, it is really good. And see, like right there, Frieza doing that, that's just, that's pretty darn amazing. But gameplay-wise, uh, it's annoying uh it i i don't know i guess the best way to say it's a little stiff a little slower um we'll see here's the first battle piccolo versus frieza and i played the game twice before i actually recorded anything the second time i was able to beat frieza with no little problem the first time i got my ass kicked really bad like i am right here um, the one problem I was having is I went online and looked through how to do the moves and stuff, and I couldn't really figure it out. Now the way this game works is when you power up like that, where I just got my ass kicked. When you power up like that, that's your health. That's your health going up. You know, 107 is Frieza's health right there. I barely did any damage to him. Um, yeah, it's, it's annoying because... Every time you try and power up to bring your health back up, they will attack you. Whoever the AI you're fighting is will attack you and you'll end up losing more health than you just gain back. Anyways, the next battle here is Goku, Super Saiyan versus Frieza. And yes, I want to add Piccolo versus Frieza. If you lose that battle, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count against you in any way. So, yeah, that's... That's there, and then it, it's just, it's weird. But this battle, I believe you do need to win to advance in the game. And at first I thought, okay, Piccolo lost because he's weak compared to, you know, Frieza's third form. No, when I was fighting Frieza here as Goku, I was having, you know, pretty much the same problem. Maybe Goku is a little bit stronger or something, maybe I just got lucky. Like, right there where he did that beam and I jumped behind him. Uh, and that attack, where they move backwards and they hit you. Sometimes the AI will do that non-stop, and it's really hard to dodge. If you jump back, they'll still follow you and hit you. If you jump forward and land too soon, they'll just hit you from there. And they do plenty of that, where you jump and get hit. And right there, that was a mistake of me jumping up and not moving back or forward, which forward probably would have been the right way. And the Kamehameha, I have no idea how I did it. But... As you can see, well, hopefully, I'm pretty sure I beat Frieza here. Yeah, there you go. But he came really close to beating me, as you know, you just watched. And like I said, the controls just make the game hard. It's not like a regular like Street Fighter or something like that, where you can just pick it up and play, and it's fluent, it's easy. No, it's like it, it's slow. It's like I'm hitting the button and I want to hit it harder because I want to do more damage or go faster but it's not really doing anything. And then to do a Kamehameha, supposedly it's pretty much the same as to do a Hadouken, but it doesn't work. At least when I looked it up that's what it said to do. How I was doing the Kamehameha, how I did it in the last thing where it ended too early, I have no idea how I did it. So, of course here we have Majin Vegeta versus 
perfect cell, and yes, it is not from Vegeta. It, I guess instead of programming two versions of Vegeta, where one is regular or Super Saiyan, the other one is Majin, they just use the same one. I mean, you can even see the M on his forehead if you look closely. And Cell, getting past Cell on his own is difficult. I will say that right now. When I played it earlier, I could not get past Cell, and it was just ridiculous. And see, there he goes doing that one move again. You really, blocking is important. I'm going to say that right now. Blocking in this game is really important, as it should be in any kind of game. I have no idea how I did that weird energy burst thing. He does it, but he does it annoyingly. He used it on me a lot in the past game. And you can see I'm like trying to like charge to heal, but it doesn't work every time I do it. He does something like that. Again, there's something I didn't mean to do. And there goes the game. He's, he's pretty much won right there, see? Now, see, if you saw, you know, I was doing the beams and he hits me, I actually let go of the button and tried to dodge that attack the second I saw him move backwards. But there's like a delay and he's still doing the animation of shooting the energy beam. Although I'm pushing the back button to try and block and jump back or whatever, it doesn't work. It doesn't register in time and I get hit. Even though I had like a good maybe one second to uh, do it. Anyway, again, it's another battle you can lose and it doesn't matter. Here's one that does matter is Goku versus Cell, which is kind of weird because you would think Goku, not Goku, Gohan versus Cell would be the important one. But I've never even played as Gohan. I don't even know if he's a playable character in this game. I didn't even bother checking the uh, multiplayer out after I lost. I just quit. Um, but yeah, this is still a difficult thing. I think. The only reason I was able to beat him is because I played it a few times in Goku, since you play him more than the other characters, I got more used to his controls. Not like... Not that he controls way different than everybody else, it's just... It, it's hard to explain, but... See, that's the move I hate. And when he does that, that was just lucky that I jumped over the beam before he hit me. Oh, okay, I did lose here because I did that. Yeah. So that's where I lost my first life. Cell shaking his head. I will say, like I said, the animation is good. And you know what's crazy? I wasn't even thinking about that I was going to mention when I was recording this. Is how big of a difference between this game and the last game is. Because the last game was so easy. I think I lost one life in that game. I don't remember. And this one I can't even beat. It's like it went from one of the easiest games I've played to the sequel becoming one of the hardest games that I can't even beat. Now I'm sure if I practice plenty I might be able to beat this game, but I don't know. That energy beam going up thing, I again don't know how to do that, it just happens. And there I got lucky with that Kamehameha, because I still don't know how I'm doing it. I did used to know how to do that annoying move right there, they just did twice in a row, oh my god. I used to know how to do it, but I can't anymore, I tried. And the good thing is you can kind of predict when he's just gonna do like a move like that because the screen gets dark. So I'll say I got lucky in this match. Um, yeah. And of course, just like the other two games, these are, you know, Super Famicom, so I can't read any of that. Which is why I skipped through all of it as fast as I could. And see, here we go. This is how you know he's Majin, because now he looks the way he does when you're fighting. Well, I don't get why they can use the other animation for when you fought Cell. Uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. But here, Goku versus Vegeta, and I'm pretty sure Vegeta takes my axe. And the worst part is you start off with the same amount of health. Both of us started off with 500, I believe. And 
Now, if I remember correctly, I actually thought I was going to win this one. Because even right now, I'm looking at it, it looks like I have the upper hand here, but it, it's going to completely change around in a second. There's that move again. And I know it might be cheap to keep him in the corner, and uh, there, this is, this is, I think, where it starts to go downhill. But instant transmission, that was cool. I wish I knew how to do it. I think if I knew how to do the moves, if they were easier to do, I would probably maybe be able to beat this game, but I, I don't know. I'm sure someone out there can. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who's beating this game and just mean you can't beat it. But it is hard. And here we go, this is when he won't stop attacking me. But yeah, I get up and right away I get hit again. No chance to block, no chance to do anything. I just get hit again. I probably could have beaten him if it wasn't for the fact that he hit me twice and I couldn't do anything. And there he goes, Goku is down. So, the, the AI does do that, they spam moves. It didn't happen as much this playthrough as it did the first time and the second time, but they will spam moves like crazy and it is just it, it gets ridiculous it's like you're playing with a real person and you, if, i don't know if you know when you like playing i guess small versus capcom certain games that are things where people juggle you in the air and you can't land and they keep hitting you and hitting you and you it's kind of like that it you get that feeling where i this isn't cool i can't do anything it's annoying um here's a match vegeta versus majin buu and surprise, this is another match you can lose just like the last one. That beam he just did, if you get hit with it, you pretty much lost. I mean, at this point if I got hit with it, or not anymore, look at how much life that took away, but if I got hit from it like in the beginning, it wouldn't have taken as much. At this point it would be a really bad hit, and I'm pretty sure he does hit me with that little beam thing later, so we'll see what it is. Which is kind of funny, but it's kind of annoying too. As you can see, I'm not even doing anything. I barely I haven't even brought him down by 100. Well, now I did. But. Boo is really good at blocking. What I can remember playing him built like three times in a row. And see, how does that. Ah. Uh, it just he blocks almost everything. Showing me. Look at the damage. Look, and he's powering back up. He's getting more energy. He's healing. I'm trying to heal. He hits me. And he keeps throwing me. He just blocked my energy beam. And he hit me with his gut. I mean, it's cool the way the animations, like I said, it, they did a really good job with this game. But there needs to be an easy mode. Because. This is ridiculous. He's doing a ballerina dance, and that killed me. But like I said, this is another match, just like the last one, just like the Piccolo one, where you can lose. I don't understand it. Uh, you know, most fighting games that I play, if you lose, that's it. You have to fight him again, or it's game over. This one, you lose. Who cares? Let's go on to the next one, unless it's an important thing, in which case you can't lose. I don't get it. And here is, as far as I got, Goku versus Majin Buu while flying. And you know what? Maybe I could beat Buu. You know, maybe I could with Goku. I might be able to if we were on the ground. But when you're fighting him in the sky like this, it is even harder. Because, you know, I, I do a lot of jumping. That's kind of, I guess, my thing when I play fighting games is I do do a lot of jumping but you can't do that here you just move up and down and you can be standing the way I am right there and he could kick and I'll get hit or something so it makes it a lot harder and then when you're trying to back away if he does anything resembling a hit even if he's not right next to me if he's across from the screen my character will block right away so I can't even back away from Boo that well now there is a way to go down to the ground and I'm pretty sure Boo hits me down there in a few seconds here but I don't know how to do it myself or else I would have done it first thing in the match. But as you can see, I'm not doing any good here. 
know, maybe he doesn't take me down in this game. Maybe it was a different one. And there's the move, that move. I had more like even if I had like about half of my life there, it would have still killed me. That's how strong that move is. But it is cool that he has her fuel in the puppy. So here I got two more tries left, and I'm telling you it's gonna end the same way each time. With Boo kicking my ass. And like I said, it's just that beam is first of all one of the most annoying moves in video game history, in my opinion. He does it two times in a row like that. How is that? I'm not saying it's not fair. I'm just, you know, he just, I just got hit by it. I'm trying to hit you. He blocks and automatically does it. I don't even have a chance to react to it. Alright, there it goes again. That's three times. And I haven't got him down under a hundred yet. Now I have and try and heal, but of course, the second you start to heal, they come after you. Just like that. There goes another one. Now, I pretty much said everything I have to say about this game. But... The, the last thing I will say is... Although it is difficult... It looks amazing. Uh, I'm sure that multiplayer... I haven't played this one on Versus like I did with a Yu Yu Show game before, but I'm sure it's actually fun if you can figure out the controls, which are hard. I mean, my thumb actually started to hurt while playing this game. That's how annoying it was. But it, it looks good. It's definitely one of the better looking games on the Famicom Super Nintendo. I mean, the animation like I said, is just spot on. This, I believe, was the last Dragon Ball Z game made for Famicom, and it's definitely you know, it's it's a beautiful game. That's like the really the only thing you can say. It is hard. It is difficult. Maybe one day I'll return to this and I'll actually beat it. But not right now. I mean, I might be able to if I cheated and used the game save and then did this battle like a hundred times in a row. I might get lucky. I might not. But anyways, until next week. Uh, I guess. I, actually, I don't have an outro. <laughs> so, just, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Is this game worth buying? Eh. But, whatever. See ya next week. And, so, so, yeah. Bye.